What's up, welcome everyone. How are you guys doing today? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about ways to take care of your hair while wearing a scarf. So yeah, um, I think that what a lot of people, what a lot of girls make the mistake of doing is they think that, you know, just because you're wearing hijab, you don't have to take care of your hair because no one is seeing it. But um, well, that is kind of true. Like you can kind of get away with not washing it as much. Um, I think that it's really important to take care of your hair still because there are, you know, with the hijab there are some problems that are kind of introduced like um, tension, like added tension and um, sometimes your hair can get really dry when you're wearing the scarf. So yeah, I'm just going to talk about ways to solve those problems. And yeah, so the first thing you can do to like prevent like breakage and hair loss is um, by checking your hairstyle. Um, the best hairstyle in my opinion is like a French braid. Um, it, you know, it takes care of like all of your like stray like, you know, longer like bang, bangs, whatever. And um, it keeps them away from your face. And of course, like the shorter hairs, you can just kind of like clip them and like pin them back. Um, but yeah, like the French braid is actually, I think the best because yeah, it keeps your hair from your face and it has like absolutely no tension. Um, and I think that, you know, if you want to keep your hair healthy, um, it's really good idea to prevent any tension whatsoever, especially when you're wearing a scarf. Cause sometimes um, it happens like you're wearing your scarf and like there's no bathroom nearby or you just can't access the bathroom. And like sometimes you can feel like I don't know the scarf like just the weight of the scarf kind of adds more um, pull on the hair um, so yeah if you wear your hair in like a low hairstyle lower hairstyle um, you will basically save your hair because uh, over time it will not be like thinned out if that makes sense so yes and next thing I want to talk about is, are basically um, the tools that you use to put your hair up. I think that the best um, way to, you know, hold your like hairstyle together is with like hair ties. Um, so yeah, make sure that you use hair ties that don't have like metal bands on them. So these, uh, I got these at Ulta. I don't remember the brand, but you can find these anywhere now. Um, yeah, so yeah, make sure that your hair ties don't have a metal band and that they're really like soft on the hair um, There's some hair ties with like rubber on them Don't use those because they will like pull your hair and rip them rip your hair and break it and stuff like that So yeah, use these type of hair ties very like elastic -y, very soft um, So yeah, these are kind of like regular hair ties that you can find anywhere now um, Let's see yeah, the next type of hair tie that I want to talk about are these like fold over elastic hair ties, which are really popular now. Um, here is one, and here's another. Yeah, these are really these are really nice and soft. They will not add tension to your hair. Um, you know, very stretchy and very soft. As you can see, it's like really like satiny smooth. So yeah, this type of like smoothness, it's like really good for your hair to protect it from like getting damaged. Um, yeah, so yeah, these, yeah, you can find these at like a stores and for like $2 each or even $1 each, but if you want to save some money and not pay a dollar per hair tie, um, you can just make your own. I actually have a video on, I'll put it somewhere over here, um, that shows you how to make your own fold over elastic hair ties. And yeah, basically all you have to do is just like go to like a craft store, find like these type of elastics and see the one that I have right here it has two yards per color so and I only need like several inches just to make one hair tie so yeah I think this will last me like forever because even though I lose hair ties like crazy there's a lot of yardage to go through so I should be good on hair ties for a while um but yeah all you have to do is buy some elastic 
cut the elastic and then just do like a simple knot and you're good and yeah i have the video and you can look at the video so yeah so yeah so yeah those are like two different types of hair ties that you want to consider for your hair um next thing i want to talk about is using the right products on your hair um i think that it's just really important in general to make sure that you don't put um strange chemicals on your body um i'm a real advocate for like anything that is like chemical free and <clears throat> basically i feel like if you can't eat something then why would you put it on your body i mean of course like some things are the exception but yeah so here so yeah, here is the shampoo that I use right now. This is the Ren Pure Solutions and Sweet um, Pomegranate. And it is a cleansing conditioner. And I call it a shampoo, but it is kind of like one of those like two-in-one products because it cleanses the hair and conditions as well. So yeah. Um, what I like about this is that it doesn't strip the hair of its natural oils completely, you know? Um, I think that hair produces oil for a reason and yeah, it gets kind of greasy so you have to clean it. But I think that um, a lot of shampoos just completely dry out your hair and you know, when your hair gets really dry, it's, it just breaks and you lose hair, so yeah. So yeah, this I highly recommend. Um, one of the first ingredients is coconut oil so this is very very hydrating for the hair and yeah if you can't find this near you um, I would recommend just like you know going to like a nearby store and just kind of searching for uh, something similar that doesn't have like a bunch of strange chemicals like this one doesn't have like parabens or like um, sulfates and stuff like that so yeah highly recommend um and yeah, basically the, the reason that this matters is because, you know, if your hair is dry already because of the shampoo that you're using um, and you're wearing a scarf on top of it, then you're going to have a really bad problem when, you know, over time it just gets really, really dry and then you're wondering like why you're losing so much hair. So yeah, make sure to get a nourishing shampoo and conditioner. So yeah. Um, so yeah, next thing I want to talk about, and you've probably heard about this before, but hair masks are really um, important, especially for us hijabis, because yes, our hair just can get a little bit dry. It's kind of like this weird thing where it's like dry, but it's oily, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, uh, this is what I use for my hair mask. This is uh, the Pure Acres Farm um, fractionated coconut oil and it is 100% coconut oil uh, make sure that when you are purchasing like an oil for your hair that it is like you know clean ingredients there are a lot of like hair masks out there like they come in like packs or like you know like bottles and stuff like that and when you look at the ingredients it's like this like strange concoction of like weird like chemicals and stuff like that and yeah it might make your hair smell good or um It might make make it seem like your hair is like really shiny afterwards but um <clears throat> that's just because of the silicone which is like a plastic basically that's just because of the silicone honestly and yeah you just don't want that on your hair because it just it, it ruins your hair over time yes it looks nice you know at the moment but in the long run it actually ruins your hair so um yeah so yeah the, I like this coconut oil because it is fractionated. Um, if you see like, if you get like traditional coconut oil, um, usually comes in like a big jar and um, it is solid at room temperature. And yeah, like if you like, you know, rub it between your fingers, it does melt. But this is really easy to use in my opinion. Um, Cause it has a pump and it is liquid. So, yeah. Um, yeah, if you can't find that type of um, oil 
near you i got this on amazon and i'll link it down below but yeah if you can't find it near you just basically like go to your grocery store um find some type of oil that is nourishing like almond oil um what else yeah almond oil like grapeseed oil um basically like any type of you know really nice oil that you can put in your hair you can um if you're concerned about smell you can always add like a few drops of essential oil what i like to do is add um like lavender oil to like everything so yeah i just put like a few drops in there and it smells good and it's nourishing my hair so it's a win-win situation and it's nice so yeah i hope you enjoy this video we are at the end over here um hopefully i have given you some tips for you to apply for your own hair care routine and i have to say goodbye so assalamu alaikum make sure to subscribe like and comment and i will see you next time bye <laughs>